the oven. Hey, there it is. Fresh out of the oven. Look at that. Round of applause. A roaring round of applause for Chef Tom Williams of Kroger, 4404 Bramilton Avenue. Take a bow. Look at me up there, old scoop. Get you some mac and cheese, right? So this is not just mac and cheese. This is what, King Ranch? Yeah. Um, it, it, the, the book I was reading is a novel by Ken Follett, and the, the, it was set in the 60s, mm -hmm. and they were talking about it then, and I was like, well, that's pretty neat. i got to go see what that is. Wow, thanks. Um, so sweet and generous. <laughs> I'm stirring it up a little bit to get the Velveeta mixed in real nicely. Yes. Although I'm sure Miss Wheeler here would probably be okay with a big old chunk of it. Probably. <laughs> I love cheese. Uh, so for, maybe for folks who weren't with us in the last cooking segment Thank there, you. Uh, you, you pre cooked the macaroni. Yes. Drained it off. Mm -hmm. And then we had, uh, how much chicken did you put in? I put in, it calls for about three cups. Mm -hmm. um, so that's approximately what I put in there. Yeah. Um, which is about a pound. Mm -hmm. um, you can put as much in or as little in as you want. Mm. Um, another variant of this is that you take uh, flour tortillas and cut it into strips. And you layer it and do it kind of like a oh, uh, like a lasagna, like, like a cat, yeah, with with the using the um, tortilla mm -hmm. as the. But the uh, so you put in a cream of mushroom, cream of mushroom, and a tomato. Tomato. Soup. The original recipe that I found doesn't call for the tomato, or doesn't call for the tomato, but I like it. No, it's great. Um, and it was a can of um, of the uh, just it, um, diced tomatoes with green chilies. Yes, this and because hot sauce enough. makes everything better. <laughs> no, I just had a bite of the green chili. Yeah. And that brought the heat. Um, he already sweats, folks. Yeah. <laughs> the, uh, like I said, the recipe calls for uh, one medium onion and one green pepper, but somebody can't have those, so I skipped them. That's great. That's okay. Thank you so I, much. <laughs> I'm pregnant. I've I've been down there. I, Don't I, make it, please. I, I didn't make things my wife couldn't eat either, so mm -hmm. I understand. <laughs> Some things right now that will just give me a reaction that nobody needs to see on mm -hmm. TV. Well, you know, we've been talking about comfort food. We're in the fall now. Temperatures are getting mm -hmm. cooler. And um, this is something that I, I would imagine whatever you don't eat, you put that in the fridge yeah. and let those flavors come together. The leftovers. Too. Oh, freezes too? Yeah. I was going to say the leftovers would be Because I make a double batch of delicious. it at home. Mm -hmm. And cut it up into individual squares and, and freeze it in a Ziploc. Oh, really? What's yeah. something you can't freeze? Someone said if it's got a sauce with, with sour cream in it. I, don't, I don't know. I haven't tried that. I, I'm not scared. I'll freeze. I'll freeze anything. Because <laughs> I always try to make a whole big batch at the beginning of the week, and it always goes bad. Um, you could also do ground beef in here. Mm. Um, if you had leftover pork loin or something like that, mm -hmm. you could chunk that up and throw it in there. Yeah. You can make it vegetarian. You can mm -hmm. use eggs in there. I mean, this is a very versatile, versatile platform. You can make up words if you want to. This is delicious. You can do it. I do it all the time. So. Seriously, this is super tasty. And I, it's kid friendly. It is. There it absolutely go. is. And there's the cheese, you know, I know you mixed it up. The Velveeta, it's there. You get the flavor, but it's not completely mm -hmm. just you're not just eating Velveeta cheese. There's tons of other flavors in there and you actually pick up all of them. And mm -hmm. you can skip the um dice green chilies and the tomatoes if if you're you know my children don't like mm -hmm. spicy food like that. Yeah. Right. So. Well, to me well, though, it just it adds just a hint. It's a dimension. Of heat yeah. Yeah. That you know, if you don't want it, you don't need it. But um, and then you I can do like perfect. I just did and splash the Tabasco to it. There you and go. Everything's good. And this is a good <laughs> so. way too, if you have picky kids, to kind of trick them into expanding their palate. Just yeah, that's a couple of veggies. My mom in there. used to sneak scrambled eggs into the mac and cheese. Oh really? Yeah. <clears throat> that's a real uh, excuse me, a real southern well, way to do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it sounds like it doesn't. <laughs> Not at all. Not mm. at all. He's just uh, overwhelmed by the perfect flavor. But, um, did you like it? Mm -hmm. Or did you just have less than I did? I had less. I'm going to okay. have more. Uh, this is great stuff. We're going to put this <laughs> recipe on our website, fox2127.com, under the morning menu. It's called it help there. King Ranch. <laughs> macaroni and cheese. King Ranch macaroni and cheese. Delish. Uh, it, yeah, we're all going to clean our plates here. Uh, Tara's going to take a couple more seconds because she got more because it's that good. Shift Tom, nice job, Thank you, buddy. Sir. Nice job. Always.